Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Hello and welcome to Sumatra. So we've just arrived into Medan yesterday. We flew from Bali, we took a flight to Jakarta and then changed at Jakarta to get to Medan. We are here exploring the west side of Sumatra for the next few weeks. We're gonna be going to Bukit Lawang today and hopefully see a lot of wildlife as well as see some orangutans. As long as we see the orangutans, we will feel fulfilled. If you guys have seen the Borneo vlog, we tried desperately to see the wild orangutans in Borneo and unfortunately we didn't end up seeing any wild ones but it would be so amazing to just see them in their wild habitat so that is basically the bulk of the reason why we've come up here. We've opted for the adventure route today of course it's so much easier to just jump in a car and go straight there three hours away but it's been a while since we've done an actual travel day where we've had to make it somewhere ourselves so we've opted for the bus and I think it'll be a little bit more fun it's a little bit more adventurous for our last couple of weeks of traveling so anyways this is the start of the Sumatra vlog. I really hope you guys enjoy and if you want to see what we get up to whilst we're here then keep on watching. Yeah, so that whole adventure day that we were gonna do to get to Bukit Luang worked out really well. We ended up just jumping in a private car for 500,000 rupiah and three and a half hours, maybe four hours later, we were here. By the time that we figured out sort of the route that we needed to take, we needed to get a car for like an hour or two into somewhere called Binjai and then we had to get the public bus for about three or four hours. We just heard that the public bus was really crammed, really hot, really disgusting and it would have saved us maybe about five pounds each but in the long run it really wasn't worth it we had our big bags and it was just super hot and stuffy mm. so and then to be in a car for that long with ac and able to actually sleep was a lot nicer we are here in bukit lawang ready to do our jungle trek tomorrow for how many days have i managed to get you to do so you can do one day two day three day four day five day actually all the way up to, ten, up to ten days, days right yeah. you could do as many days as you want in the jungle we have opted to do four days in the jungle anyone who knows this even if you've just been watching the channel for the last seven months you would know by now I am not a walker I really do not take any pleasure in walking I love seeing things and I love seeing nature and animals but I really hate the walk to get there so the fact that Callum has managed to convince me to do four days worth of walking is pretty impressive and I feel like I'm really just going to challenge myself before we head home and hopefully I'll feel really good and really overcome after it but this is something completely new to me I think I would have been hesitant to even have done two days so the fact that we're doing four days is is insane. So that's four days, three nights in the jungle. We do have tents apparently to sleep in that are already set up, so it's an already set up campsite. It's gonna be a challenge, not just for Lucy, it's gonna be a challenge for both of us because we're literally in the jungle for four days. Just for a brief bit of information in case anyone is watching this and wants to do it in the future, we are actually booking it through our guest house, which we are staying at in Bukit Lawang, which is called Ida Guest House. I think to be honest, a lot of places in Bukit Lawang would offer this jungle trek, probably for- I just said that <laughs> and she just replies with, not gonna put that in, but okay. <laughs> just repeats me. No, you just said it a bit long-winded. So the four-day trek is, I think, 155 euros, which I think works out to about 130, 140 pounds for four days, including accommodation, which is just a tent, includes water, food, a tour guide, and whatever else we need along the way. So we're gonna start, I think, tomorrow at 9 a.m. And by the final day, we do a little bit of walking, but then we actually jump on the river and we tube from the river all the way back down to here. So it's not a walk all the way back on that final day, which is amazing. Amazing. Anyway, today we are just prepping ourselves to start our walk tomorrow, but we're gonna go into the village and have a little look around and see what there is to discover here because it's a really beautiful little village. Also driving here, we drove through probably one of the biggest palm oil distribution areas that I've ever seen. I actually think Indonesia is one of the biggest sources for palm oil production anyway, so it might have even been one of the biggest ones in the world. Anyway, enough rambling, we're going into town. See you there. <laughs>
Good morning. So today is the day that we're starting our jungle trek for the next three nights, four days. At the moment feeling a little bit apprehensive. Obviously don't know what is really to come in store. The weather is also looking very grey and cloudy today which might be good because it means that we're not trekking through the complete sunshine but also I'm a little bit concerned about rain because it's been raining really heavily in the evenings lately. Hopefully today we actually get to see the orangutans. We've heard that they literally just sit on the jungle right behind this little bit of land that we're on so we should see them pretty quickly as we start our journey but um, yeah excited to see what we're gonna find so join us for the next few days trekking through the jungle one is tired yeah. and shoes yeah. clothes yeah So this is a latex tree slash rubber tree and this is actually the rubber that's coming out of the tree and dripping into the bowl and they will collect this and use this to make things like shoes, tyres, uh, condoms and things like that apparently so very interesting. I've genuinely only been walking for maybe about half an hour and I'm sweating complete buckets. This is ridiculous. The humidity plus the heat plus the jungle. <laughs> I'm going to have no sweat left by the end of this trip. See it? No, you're quite far away. <gasps> yeah. Quite far. A few moments later. Oh! Oh my gosh! Wow! Just come. So that monkey is called a Thomas leaf monkey and its name comes from German researchers that came to Sumatra and discovered it. One of their names was Thomas and then they saw the monkeys ate a lot of leaves. So they came up with the um, really imaginative name Thomas leaf monkeys. And they're one of the friendliest <coughs> species of monkey in, well, the Sumatran jungle at least. Yeah, definitely a lot friendlier than macaques that will steal anything you have on you. It's a baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Yeah. Yeah. Just stopping now for some lunch after seeing a mummy and a baby. For lunch we have fried rice and fruit which was partly pre-prepared from the village but they cut up the fruit and make the meal look nice and presentable for you with the cucumber and the tomatoes and the crackers bless them which was really lovely. Aww, <laughs> thank you so much. You're really good. Delicious. The size of that bloody ant. Bigger than most of the spiders I've seen out here. Got a pigtail macaque joining us for lunch today. He came, stole the fruit. Now he's just eyeing up the premises to see what remains. Peacock. Look at the tail end on that. The way they move is yeah. so gross. See, they just look. Uh, no, I didn't like it because you have a um, mosquito repellent. Oh, really? Ah, <laughs> I didn't oh, good. like it. <laughs> good. I got here. Ew. They feel, see? See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It doesn't stick to it. <laughs> see? Ew, that is that so disgusting. Uh, see? It's currently 4 p.m. I think we're still about an hour or an hour and a half away from our campsite. One day, nearly down, three more to go. And this is where we're gonna be pitching up for the night, right next to this beautiful little stream. 
that we're absolutely going to be jumping into right this second. Hello. Hello, Taurus. <laughs> Hello, Taurus. <laughs> this is it. Oh, I'm so beyond sweaty. Morning. Oh, wow. oh thank you. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much. Tare makasi. What is this we've got this morning? Cheese, cheese, egg, tomato, lettuce. Wow, that's kind of cute. Great way to start day two. Just getting ready to set off for trekking day two. Apparently today is harder than yesterday's, so it's gonna be really tough because I actually thought that yesterday was already really hard. We've got to do a big incline walk to get back up to a point where we were yesterday. It's a challenge. I'm definitely pushing my body to do things I've never done before. Last night's sleep was actually surprisingly good. I am so thankful that I brought my neck pillow with me because we got given a sleeping bag, but no pillows. So I ended up just using my sleeping bag and and my neck pillow as a pillow and I was absolutely fine. In fact, we actually slept about 12 hours. Callum and I went to bed the earliest at about 8 p.m. and we woke up again at 8 a.m. this morning. We just had some lovely lunch prepared by the guys and I think we're just gathering our stuff together and then we'll be off. Wish me luck. <laughs> There she goes, climbing down. Abseiling down. Abseiling down. And it's so muddy, muddy and so slippy. Yeah. Is she? Focus on climbing. <laughs> Ew. Found a little opening for a spot of lunch. And we just sat on some leaves. Jungle life for you. This is where the food preparation is going to begin. Starving. <laughs> oh no, we're surrounded by macaques. Wherever you set up lunch, they'll always find you. Oh, he's, he's opening it. These cheeky monkeys. Hi. <laughs> wow, this is the reality of trekking through the jungle. I'm not really filming a lot of the actual walking part because as you can imagine, it's a lot of walking. It's going up, going down, bit of abseiling. Oh my god, I didn't know it was possible to sweat this much. Hopefully we're nearly there. We're walking up a really steep incline right now. We're not even at the top yet, we've been walking it for about 20 minutes and then got to go all the way down and hopefully the camp is at the bottom. Fingers crossed we'll be there soon. So obviously right now we are on day two, heading to camp. We had lunch about four hours ago at about one o'clock. Just check the time and it's, <laughs> it's only 10 past two. It's been an hour and 10 minutes of just up and down and up and down and it feels like it's been forever. Hopefully we'll see some wildlife soon, but at the minute it seems like it's literally just muddy paths and climbing. Although there looks like quite a cool little water slide waterfall down here. Where are we? Who stupid idea to trek through the jungle was it? Where are we? I don't know. Somewhere in the jungle. <laughs> Here's my idea. Almost there. We're not almost there. I think we're still. I think we're still about two hours away. My idea of heaven. Two hours later. Woohoo! Camp for night two. Oh, we made it. Oh, I need to wash. I'm disgusting. On night two, we actually stayed at a campsite that had a beautiful little waterfall there as well. So we spent a little bit of time hanging out and bathing there until it started raining really heavily. So we took cover back at the camp. So we are in our little camp for the night, just chilling with a cup of tea. And we did have some biscuits. If you couldn't hear, it's just started thundering and raining. It's going to be a very loud night tonight, I think, but it might make it a little bit more cozy. We've just got literally a mosquito net and a sleeping bag. No pillows, no sheet, no nothing. I didn't really expect it, to be honest. But I think for the rest of the night, we're just going to be chilling. We're going to eat a little bit of dinner and then probably hit the hay early because I am exhausted and up early again for another trek tomorrow.
The dinners on this trip really surprised me because the guys prepared some amazing food such as bamboo and banana curries, chicken randang, fried noodles, and these lush potato balls that I just loved. Considering we were literally in the middle of the jungle with no electricity, I thought that they made an absolutely amazing spread every night and we ate so good. The next day. This guy over here has been out here for about 20 minutes blocking the water. He's made little barricades with the rocks so that we can have a little area to sit down and have our breakfast. The dedication of these men is incredible. They are literally the most thoughtful and selfless people. They would do anything to make sure you're happy and comfortable before they are. They really do not get enough for the work that they do, honestly. Ah, oh, lovely. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Ah, oh, this was so good yesterday. Buzzing. Mm -mm. I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me next to this water, but last night the rain was so intense. This water was all the way up to about here on this rock and everyone was getting a little bit concerned that it was going to raise above the rock and then we would have been in trouble. But luckily it was all good. It's come back down this morning and it's dry and looking pretty sunny over there as well. So fingers crossed for a good weather day today. Day three. You ready? I guess so. I am already sweating and I haven't even taken five steps yet today, so today is going to be a hot one, I think. Day three, let's go. Oh wow. Oh my God, hello. Hello, friend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to zoom in. It really is that close. No pressure, but if you slip, you're a goner. It's a termite's nest. Is it? That's a termite's nest, yeah, and then this is a bee's nest. Ah. I guess that goes deeper into the tree. I did not think that's what they look like. Oh my god, their arms! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Are they friendly to you? You will see no. <laughs> <gasps> oh. oh my god! Eh, eh. He thinks no. you've got a banana in there. It's not a banana. That's not a banana. <laughs> How was that experience, Sunshine? I can't even talk. About <laughs> That's like a dream come true for like 12 year old me. And now, actually, and now. So that was. That was, that was insane. Something. It thought you had something, a banana hidden in there or something like that. Wouldn't so. be the first. <laughs> You're making that look like it was nothing. So hopefully we are now just approaching camp oh, on our- Hold that thought. I don't know if this is camp. Oh. Oh, oh wow, this is just a big river. Bloop, 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 bloop. Wow, so we have to- it is Oh, camp. it is camp. Thank God. Day three done. Day three done. I've walked three days in the jungle. So conveniently, just as it starts to rain, we get to our shelters for the night. Oh wow, oh it's like rapids. Got the tubes here. Last night we were the only people in our camp and now there's a lot of people in this camp tonight. Oh, off he goes. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear me over the dropping on the rooftops, but we started today feeling really frustrated, very deflated, and just kind of over the jungle life. We actually came very, very close to quitting one day early and ending it today rather than tomorrow. And then with a little bit of persuasion from the boys who actually decided to stay on for an extra day, so they're finishing with us now tomorrow. We've decided to stay, and actually today was my favorite day so far. It was a lot less hills, a lot less up and down today, more sort of nature trails, which were really nice. And obviously seeing the gibbon up close, which was just an amazing end to our day. And I just feel like I finished today feeling very grateful. Even though this is not my kind of activity, it's not my favorite form of exercise or favorite thing to do. I have the health, I have the physical ability, I have got, you know, a working body, I've got everything to be able to do it except my mentality and that is one thing that you can change physical health you can't always change there's been a few walks and a few trails where you've really got to step down like really steep slopes and at times I'm thinking god it's a good thing I've got trust in my feet I've got trust in my arms to hold me up if I fall and I just sort of left today feeling very grateful at that so yeah today has been a really good day in the jungle it's been really challenging and honestly it's been more challenging for my mentality rather than my physical health and trying to persuade my brain that this is okay you should do this you know you're young and you're fit and you're able to do it but yeah day three in the jungle complete one day left so it turns out we're not actually doing any walking today, which obviously I'm quite happy about. I'm happy to just go back, float along the river. But I did think that we were doing another half day of walking today, so. It's a bit bittersweet. You know, you would like to obviously walk a little bit and then maybe go down the river, but I guess we'd just leave straight from here. It does make sense because when we walked into this camp, I instantly saw the tubes and I thought, hmm, why is there tubes here? But I'm assuming that's because people leave from this camp and go straight back to town. So I think we're just about to pack up and leave and float down the river all the way back into the village and it's a beautiful day today the sun is shining it's really hot and I'm actually glad that we're not walking today to be honest because I'm sweating right now and I'm not even doing any exercise if we were walking right now I think I'd be literally a puddle back to where we started and that is the end of our trek through the Sumatran jungle how did you find it it was great as you can see there was some crazy stuff that happened and I'm glad we did the extra day purely for that experience with the gibbon because <laughs> that was so funny and staying by that river as well and tubing back was such good fun so I recommend for anyone coming here although we've established I am not normally one to do things like that I am really glad that I did it I'm very proud of myself for pushing through and managing to get through it and I really do recommend if you're ever coming up to Bukit Luang or you're coming to Sumatra it's kind of no-brainer you have to do the jungle trek you will still see the orangutans even if you just did a one day or a two day one but you don't really get the full jungle experience without doing at least a few nights in the jungle so if you have time I do definitely recommend doing it this video is long enough so we're gonna leave this outro short and sweet thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy then what have they got to do like comment and subscribe if you haven't caught up yet with the rest of our travel videos over the last seven months then I will link the playlist on the screen it would really mean the world if you could watch them and support our travels and our journey we hope to see you in the next one very soon and See you later. Peace out. Bye. Look at my beautiful fiance just enjoying life right now. I'm so, so proud of you. We've walked for three days in the Sumatran jungle. And now you just get to enjoy this. Do, 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 do.